Congratulations on buying your new Bailey Caravan. In this video, we're going to be showing and demonstrating how to correctly set up and use your caravan ready for its first trip away. Firstly, we're going to start off round and have a look at the outside. So first up at the front, we have the hitch area. Now here we have the jockey wheel. Now this raises and lowers the caravan. Perfect for pitching your caravan. Next to it, we have the 13 pin electrics. As you can see, you've got the plug and this gets plugged into your car. Obviously got the lead here and uh, that goes in there. Remember to put it back in the holster and twist it to keep it watertight. The handbrake, this ha camp caravan obviously has a gas strut handbrake. Simply push the button and push the handle forwards to release. Below here, we have the breakaway cable. Now this, clips onto your car either directly or in a noose fashion. Nine times out of ten, it's in a noose fashion. Obviously this will pull the shaft underneath and will pull the brake on if your caravan was to become detached. The cable will then snap and your caravan will be safely braked. Just above we have the hitch area. Now we have the hitch handle and the stabiliser. Simply to operate, lift the handle up and that is lifting both handles up You'll then wind your caravan down, we'll show and demonstrate this later. The handle will snap and then you then pull the stabiliser down. There is two pads here and two here and they grip the tow ball. It's really important you have a clean, grease-free, paint-free tow ball so that these pads work efficiently. Obviously we have two grab handles here. Now if your caravan isn't fitted with a motor mover, you can manoeuvre the caravan using the grab handles to uh, say move the caravan in your storage location or maybe even on your caravan site. Just below the front window we have the whale external water point. Simply lift the flap and just in here the water gets popped into there. Obviously water goes in there and you can then have fresh water to your caravan. The water container will be situated just here and will be plugged into here. This model is fitted with the older wet central heating. This is the boiler outlet. Some models are fitted with the Truma heating. Just next to this, just in front of the axle, is the gas locker. Now some models have the gas locker on the other side and some of this side. Check your model and your dealership will be able to give you that information. The locker can take suitably two six kilogram colour bottles. You can have a refillable system fitted into the caravan if you so desire again speak to your local dealership about how to do this. Just walking back just below the rear wheel is the waste outlet for the water. Simply plug your waste water into there and that means that you can have uh, the water be come out of there. Also just behind the wheel is the jacking bracket. Now again this model actually comes standard with the Alco side lift jack. You can just see the plate just in there and there's also one on the other side. We have the toilet cassette now here we have the water outlet and this what happens is the toilet chemical goes in there and also the toilet water so you can flush the loo. This is the cassette opening and if I just unlock it now we'll be able to show you how to use the cassette. Simply lift the orange handle up and ensure the toilet blade is shut and withdraw the cassette. As you can see it has wheels and you can lift the handle and you can roll it around empty open the spout your model will have a cap on the top that has a new van and it hasn't got it fitted at the moment unscrew that get the cassette with two hands push the orange button here to let air into push the button down tip upside down and tip the contents out pop some water in there small amount and gently swill it around just do it gently as you want to uh, you don't want to move any moving parts that sit inside here tip it out and correctly wash it out. 
In here, you want to put three caps of water and half a cap of blue or green chemical just to keep the toilet fresh and clean. This is where the uh, contents go in from the loo in here and you pull that turn this button here to empty and close don't put anything in there as there's a delicate rubber seal in there and you want to keep that fresh and good so just shut the spout turn it round wheel it in and you see it locks into there and it's not moving anywhere just to the right we have this small black pipe open the end and the contents of the toilet flush will come out of here. This is perfect for winterization and also traveling. Obviously on the back, we have the light clusters and the high level brake light, and also somewhere to fit your number plate. Just to the side, we have your awning rail. Obviously, if you want to have an awning, you can slide the awning round into the caravan. Perfect for extending space. Just to the next here, we have the external 230 volt electrics. Now, if we unplug it simply, that's how you unplug it. And to plug it in, simply lift the flap, pop it in the little hole, push it in, it will should click, and that's not moving anywhere. Pop the flap down and then plug it into your uh, post at your site. I'm gonna start with the bottom one. And due to Caravan Club, you push it in and you have to actually twist it. And see, that won't come out now. I mean, you'll have 230 volt electrics into the site. Just to the right of it here, this model has an external 230 volt electrics. Just in there, obviously you've got your three pin plug and also the satellite point. And it will be supplied with a small adapter so you can run an AV cable. Here are the fridge vents. Now this is the back of the uh, large Dometic fridge and these dispel warm air uh, to basically cool the fridge. So if you feel warm air coming out of that, it's totally normal and nothing to worry about. Obviously, this is a door, comes fitted with a high security lock, and this is the latch. As you can see, to stop the door from moving, it has a latch here. Pull the little latch, lock it in, nice and secure. This has a split door, so you just pull the attach, pop it over, pull the latch, and it's really nice and secure. If you've got kids or animals, you can keep them in there, you can have some air over the top. Obviously you've got a bin and also a dustpan and brush in there which is really helpful to release the bin. Simply pull the catch and pull the bin down. As we step inside the caravan, the first thing we're greeted with is the control panel and in this model, the TV outlets. So the first thing you want to do is you want to push the on button and then you've also got the pump and the lights and the awning light. Dotted around the caravan you will find these switches. These are the light switches. Simply turn them on and your lights will come on. Just below, around the caravan also, you will find a 12 volt plug which means that you can run off grid and also the TV outlet. And this is uh, compatible using obviously the uh, aerial as shown. Just below we have a 230 volt outlet as well. In this Vigo model we have the battery just below. I highly recommend getting at least 110 amp, amp hour battery. This is if you have a motor mover and a reasonable single axle caravan. Without a motor mover you can probably get away with an 80 amp hour battery if you're looking at not ever going off grid. However, with a twin axle, with possibly quad movers, I'd suggest 130 amp hour battery, and that would be really, really good. Some place in your caravan, you will find the TV aerial. Undo the clamp and push the aerial up. I highly recommend downloading an, a TV aerial finder app. They're usually free with your phone, and then you can find the aerial. As we can see here, it turns around Fully. The red dot signifies the front of the aerial. So when you're traveling, bring the aerial down and have the red dot facing you. Tighten the collar up as shown so that the aerial does not move whilst in transit. Just next to it, we have the amplifier. And to turn it on, there's a small switch just at the back. And you can see the blue light comes on and off. No need to worry about the strength. That gets set up for you already. to water you're going to need a water container i choose the fl hitchman aqua roll 
There are many alternatives out there, this is what most people tend to use and it's the most popular. Most models come in a 40 litre or a 20 litre version. I recommend the 40 litre version as for a family of three that usually lasts between one and two days. We can actually get three showers out of a 40 litre Aquarol which is really really good. So plugging the Aquarol in is really simple. Simply fill it up with fresh water, make sure you go to the drinking water tap, really important that you do that. Get the Aquarol and position it just next to the caravan. Plug the uh, water pump into the caravan. Make sure that your pump is turned off and all your taps are shut inside the caravan. Then simply turn on the pump and it will go and it will burble for a short moment. This is to fill the, the pipes up in the caravan correctly. Next, pull each in turn the taps open to pressurise the system. Once you've got a steady stream of water coming through, your caravan is primed. If no water comes through, you have probably got an airlock. To simply remove the airlock, simply remove the pump and put it back in. This model has the Alder wet central heating system. To use the Alder, simply push the button and it will come to a blank screen. Push the menu button to change the temperature up and down and also the, the next one down is to do your hot water and the next one down is the power of your heating. So you can choose one, two or three kilowatts. Just below we have the gas boost button if you want your caravan to heat up quicker. Push the settings button to change various settings such as being able to have a night and day mode. This means you can set the caravan up to turn on however you like. You can change it from a black to white screen which is quite helpful if someone's sleeping at the front and also just in these next settings box if you were to decide to have uh, air conditioning fitted you can use the older heating controller to control this. Furthermore you can also have the uh, Truma iNet system which means you can control this heating from your phone fitted as an optional extra if you so desire. To turn off the heating make sure all is turned off and then hit the button to turn the heating off. To turn the hot water on, turn it on at the boiler and then the put the tank will fill up from your Aquarol. It will probably make a burbling noise and it will heat up. This is so that your water gets hot. Usually it takes between 20 and 30 minutes depending on your boiler to heat up. This is the chemical toilet. To the side you'll have your pump. The blue button means that the flush water we talked about earlier on can be uh, used. Just next to it, if a red light comes on, that means your toilet is full and ready to be emptied. Just below here, we have the loo. Obviously, lift the top. In here, as we can see, that is the cap we talked about earlier on with the loo. In here, simply open the trap and there's a small handle just below. Open the trap to let the contents uh, go in flush it to flush it away and also the toilet is fully movable so you can move it to your desired position however you like. This is how we have our wastewater set up. We have the Ethel Hitchman Wastemaster and a connector which can be bought from your local dealership. Obviously this is the Russell Hobbs microwave. Obviously inside you'll have your microwave plate. I highly recommend to store your microwave plate in the sink in the bowl. This means that it won't get smashed whilst in travel. The microwave is really, really easy to use. The Thetford Caprice Mark III oven, and this means it has the electric hot plate. Just under here, there's a small catch. Undo it, and then you can lock in the top. Lift up the glass, and before you leave, make sure that this is totally cold before you shut this glass. We've had it happen, this does smash, and it is quite expensive to repair. This obviously is the electric hot plate. Obviously three gas burners, some models have four gas burners. That totally depends on the model. Obviously, oven and, oven and grill uh, below. Just the oven, the grill in there, and the oven just here. You've got a small guard that pulls out to protect the handles, and that does a really good job. Depending on your model, it depends which fridge you have. This model has the Dometic 103 litre fridge 
and there's plenty of space in there for it. Obviously this is the new model so it's got all the plastic in there to keep it nice and clean. To turn it on simply uh, switch to electric to work on 230 volt if you are on a site. Battery is predominantly only for using in a travel situation and at the bottom you have gas. To work on gas make sure your gas bottle is turned on, push the igniter switch in, turn the temperature gauge on and push it in as well. That will secure, that will go into the green once it has been lit. The temperature dial obviously is really simple uh, and it goes up and down to your desired temperature. The freezer compartment in this model is removable and that's really simple to do and check your owner's manual to find how to do this. All models will be fitted with a front bed. To operate the bed, simply pull the slats until they reach their furthest position and then simply rearrange the cushions by moving the sides into the middle and turning these seat bases upside down. This means you'll have a comfortable front bed. And on this particular bed, to pull it out, simply pull the bed forwards, pull the mattress forwards, and the back slots in securely. Obviously the blinds, this caravan has the pleated blinds and to move them simply pull the blind up from below to shut light out. If you want to remove it, undo the clamp and bring the blind down and also the fly screen comes down. Obviously with the windows, make sure all four catches are open. Push the window outwards and turn the turn knobs securely to hold the window in place. Your caravan will have at least two skylights, possibly three, possibly four, depending obviously how long it is. To open the skylight, simply push the button and pull the handle up. It can then latch into place and this can securely be held. To shut it, simply pull the handle down and latch it into place. You can obviously shut in a smaller position to stop uh, any uh, contents coming in. Simply push it back down and lock into place. You've obviously got a blind and a fly screen on here too. Some models have a tracker and PIR uh, fitted. Now obviously some models have an alarm and the PIR and some models have a tracker on top of that. If your caravan has a tracker, remember to speak to your dealership whether it does, they'll be able to sign you up for a three month free subscription to the tracker. This will help prevent your caravan from being stolen. Some models obviously come with the Alco Secure Lock. Uh, this is a pretty easy thing to fit, especially if you have a motor mover. On the front, I recommend getting a security hitch lock. These aren't really inexpensive and if you get a starter pack, it will come with one as well. Packing up your caravan, ensure that light items can be kept in the lockers at the top of the caravan. This might include food, bedding and toiletries. Medium items such as uh, clothes, shoes and camping chairs, these can be kept at the front and the back of the caravan. However, heavier items such as awnings and other batteries and other items should be kept over the axle. Make sure to turn off your heating and all other appliances inside the caravan. Shut skylights and roof lights and make sure they're in their travel position. Withdraw the pump and empty your water and waste canisters at the correct place. Withdraw the electrical cable and coil up. Turn off the gas bottle. Torque your caravan's wheel nuts to the correct setting using a calibrated torque wrench. Fit the towing mirrors to your car lock all exterior doors and wind up the steadies. Now it's time to go ahead and hitch up. Hitching up your caravan to your car, really important this is done correctly. First, fit the breakaway cable onto your car. Now, carabiner style, your car might have a little hook on it. However, we've got a detachable tow bar and unfortunately we haven't got one of those. So, we're gonna have to just hoop it round the tow bar Clip it onto itself and pull it nice and tight so that it's got less chance of pulling off. 
lift the stabiliser handle up and the black handle up so they both click and wind the jockey wheel down so that the car caravan meets the car. It will then latch down and it's really important to raise the car on the jockey wheel to make sure the caravan is latched on. As you can see it's lifting the car up so you can wind it back down. So wind the jockey wheel down and it's really important that we line the jockey wheel up in the forks just down here. As you can see nice and lined up, pull the handle tight, pull the top handle up nice and tight and pull the jockey wheel up into its highest position. Do the clamp up so it's securely fitted just like so. Next we're going to pop the stabiliser handle down, pop the handle down all the way down, it'd be a bit stiff but that means it's nicely gripped on to the car. So the lead doesn't drag along the floor, we recommend that you pop the electrics around the tow hitch. Make sure it's not snagging with any of the breakaway cable and simply with the 13 pin plug, open up the latch, take it in at nine depending on your tow bar installation and twist so it's securely fitted in. You might have just heard that noise. That is the Alco ATC trailer control coming on and showing green. Only some models are fitted with this. Lastly, take the handbrake off so that your caravan can move securely. Lastly, get a friend just to check that your lights have been are working correctly and you're ready to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's really helped on how to set up and correctly use your Bailey caravan. If you have any further questions, refer to your owner's manual or speak to your local dealership. So thanks for watching, take care, bye now, bye.